Welcome back, everybody. So today we're going to try Mermaid Dew Cup from 450 North, a brewing company. What's a Mermaid Dew Cup? No clue what that is. So, uh, smoothie style sour ale, Kara Kara oranges, tangerines, nectarine, peach, and mandarin is what is in this. And like always, 5.3% ABV. I did pay $7.46 for this can. Um, this one was a little bit more expensive than the other ones. Or lately, I should say. Depending on if you've watched my other videos and what order you've watched them in. At the beginning, um, $9.99, $10 a can was the going rate. And then they started coming down. Um, a lot of them are around that $6 mark now, but I have seen a couple that have been $10, uh, still. I don't remember where I picked this one up at, because now looking at it, yeah, I, I don't know what a mermaid dude cup is, um, but I'm guessing it's citrus based, since we've got a lot of citrus in here, it looks the color, no head, these rarely do, um, yeah, orange. Orange in color. You guys are actually seeing it a little bit lighter than what I am back here. But for the most part, it's a little, looking at this, this can is a little bit darker than what I'm seeing. If that helps any, they almost look exactly the same. But let's go ahead and smell. Is it zest? Like, I, lots of citrus. Um, sweet citrus, like the orange meaty part. Um, uh, what? There's like some bitterness in there. Like, they use the skin of uh, the citrus fruits. I get, I almost want to say kind of like a creamsicle, that, that orange, that orange citrus juiciness is coming out, but there's almost like some vanilla in there. I'm guessing it's just the sweetness. I mean, there's, I, I don't think I would be able to tell peach. It, it's orange heavy, uh, orange juice heavy is what I get with that vanilla in the back but the zest um yeah lots of zest let's go ahead and taste weird yeah orange citrus man there has to be vanilla in this like orange juice with zest. Um, I Kara Kara oranges, I've had them uh, actually recently. I would say a month ago we bought them. I think they're sweeter. So maybe that's lending to the sweetness of the orange. This has been a weird review day. I almost want to say there's oak in there. In the back end. I've tasted a couple different things today that weren't even in sight on the can, uh, on a tap to anything. It It's like you get that orange, orange juice, big orange juice, um, you get that zest. I get vanilla, but in the, like the aftertaste almost tastes like it was aged in oak. It is sweet though. Sweet and bitter at the same time. Peach. I can see a little peach in the back. Um, 
Drinks fine um, for the body. I think it's a little thin. Uh, smooches. I didn't do this review because I already have. Uh, these are uh, thicker than any 450 North I've had. I, it must be like the amount of like acidic. It's not tart though. But like when it mixes back there, it's kind of oaky. That's just me. It has vanilla and oak in it with orange. Lots of sweet orange and a little bit of peach. Uh, I'm... 3.75 out of 5 for me. Let's check untapped. <coughs> Weird. None of my friends have had it. Uh, 247 people have checked it in. Average 4.05. Um, dang it. So, uh, Collector Cup Series is what this is part of. Orange Tangerine Sweet Peachy Thick. It is not thick. Uh, in my opinion, um, 27 minutes ago, so these people are sharp, tart, hint of orange up front, soft peach notes, major orange. Yeah. I still want somebody to say vanilla. Yeah. Yeah. I Nobody's really saying anything else. I'm just looking at pictures to make sure it's the same color and it, it looks the same. Very much a treat. Oh, here we go. Uh, like drinking a pint of boozy orange juice. I could kind of see that. Uh, a bit much for one person. Yeah, so I'm not going to bore you guys with any more, but yeah, if you're into beers like this or want to try something new, definitely one to pick up and try. If you enjoyed this review, check some more out over here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. Until next time, cheers.